Hi, in this video I will show you how to tune a violin. We're not going to use any violin technique. You don't need to know how to play the violin to tune the instrument. This video is primarily for parents so that you can support your beginning violinist at home. It's very important that students practice on instruments that are in tune, so please use this video as a resource to keep your student's instrument in tune. I recommend tuning the instrument daily. Okay, so I am using an app here called Sound Corset. It's free and it's my favorite app for tuning instruments in the string family. So looking head on at the violin, if I hold this in front of me, reading from left to right, the string farthest to the left is the G string. I'm gonna pluck my G string a little louder. Then we have the D string. Then we have the A string. And lastly, on the far right, we have the E string. Now my violin's a little bit out of tune, so it's a perfect time for me to show you how to tune this instrument. We typically start with the A string when we're tuning. So if I'm reading from left to right again, I've got G followed by D followed by A. Or the string second from the right. Now you can see here my tuner is picking up A and that's great. I'm in the ballpark but my dial is not in the middle and it's not lighting up green when I play my A so it's not perfectly in tune. Let's see where the dial is whenever I play my A string. Okay if you could see there my dial was a little bit to the left which means that my A string is a little bit flat. How I'm going to fix that is I'm going to travel down on my A string to the fine tuners down here. Not every violin has fine tuners, but if you are on a beginning instrument, you should have fine tuners. I find my fine tuner for the A string, and I'm gonna turn that a little bit to the right, righty tighty. If our string is flat, we need to tighten the string. If our string is sharp, or the dial is to the left, we need to loosen the string. So I'm going to tighten my, my string. I'm going to turn the fine tuner to the right. You can also think clockwise if that's easier for you. And we'll just go a little bit at a time and let's check again. Okay, it could still go a little further. Ooh, let's try that again. A little bit more. And this uh, tuner is picking up my voice as well. So. You want to do this in a quiet place. We're almost to the middle. Okay, I'm going to be a perfectionist now and really get that dial in the middle. we're in the middle. Now I forgot to mention this, but you also want to check that it doesn't only say A, but that it's reading the correct A. When we play the violin, our A is A4 that we're looking for. In the musical alphabet, there are many A's. It goes in a circle, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So there are many A's. The A that you want to make sure you're tuning your violin to is A4. The way that you can make sure that you're tuning A4 is you can't see it on your screen here, but at the very top it says which A we're tuning to. Um, if your instrument's way, way, way out of tune, there's a possibility that you might be tuning an octave too low. Uh, that probably does not happen on the violin, but it could. So double check that it is reading A4 right here at the very top. Um, so moving on now to our D string, we are looking for D4. So I'm going to play my D. First I want to see that my D is being read here, AD. And just for a reference, when I pluck, I do pluck over the fingerboard, that's this long black thing, using my thumb. So don't pluck down here where you can get rosin dust on your finger and get oils on the strings. Pluck up here uh, over the black part, the fingerboard. Ooh, look at that, my D is pretty in tune. So I saw that it lit up as a D. 
Okay, and I am seeing at the top it is reading D4, so we're in the good zone. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit because I see that my dial is to the right. So I'm going to come down, find my D fine tuner, twist to the right. Okay, I'm still not quite perfect. And something has happened down here as well. I have reached the end of my twist ability. I can no longer twist my fine tuner to the right. It is all the way down and I'm not in tune yet. So I'm going to have to do some peg work. So before I start twisting pegs, I'm going to loosen that D fine tuner so that I have some room to tighten up later if I need to. Um, you don't need to loosen it a ton, um, but definitely give yourself some wiggle room. Go. You probably can't see there, but yeah, it's hard to tell. I just loosened it a little bit. Ooh. Now you can hear when I pluck my D, I bet it's not going to read D anymore because I loosened it so much, I made it so flat, it's probably now a different pitch. Can you see there it's saying C now? Right, and C is the letter right before D in the alphabet and in the musical alphabet. So I'm playing a C that's right under D right now, and that's because I loosened my pegs so much that my string is now playing a C. So I gotta now twist my pegs to tighten back up to D. So I'm gonna do that by holding my uh, violin with my right hand on the shoulder. I'm gonna come up here, find the peg that's associated with my D string. You can just follow it up and you can hold it however you want to, but you wanna have a good grip and you don't wanna be holding the strings though. So good grip, but not a uh, choke hold on the neck of the violin. Okay, so I'm gonna push in just a little bit as I twist. And I'm just going to go a little bit at a time. Let's see what it says now. All right, we're saying D flat. That's the note right in between C and D. So we've come up a little bit. We're at D flat. Now we need to get to D. We're going to twist it a little bit more. Still D flat. Let's keep twisting. And once again, I am twisting. You can see it better when you're doing pegs. You want to be tightening the string. It just so happens that on the D string, since those are on the left side of the violin, I am now moving counterclockwise. But you can look in that little peg box there and it does make sense what is tightening and what is loosening. So I'm going to twist that again. Another way to think of it is when you're tightening the pegs, you're twisting away from your face. When you're loosening the pegs, you're twisting towards your face. Ooh, looky there, I think I saw a D. looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use my fine tuner to get it perfect. Once I see D and I see D4, I should be able to use my fine tuners to finish the job. A little bit more. Tightening. There we are. Okay. Moving on to our G string, we are looking for G3. I'm going to pluck my G string farthest to the left when I look at it head on. It's kind of hard for the tuner to read this. I'm going to get a little closer. All right, there it is. I see G and it is reading G3. Now, Really pay attention to that tuner when you first pluck the G. A lot of times the resonance of the violin can cause the tuner to also pick up G2 after the string has been ringing for a while. So it'll start off saying G3 and then it might go to G2 up there. Don't worry. Whatever it's reading when you first pluck it should be right. So it is saying G3 when I first pluck it and that's what we want. It is flat though. Um, my fine, my, not my fine tuner, my dial is to the left, so I'm going to tighten my G string a little bit with my fine tuner. A little bit more. We're getting closer. There we are. Yeah, it kind of also does a little C there at the very end. That's just 
some of those overtones that the um, resonant of the violin is picking up. So I am seeing G, I'm seeing G3. There we go. Okay, lastly, we do the E string last. Um, it's good to tune the way the orchestra does it. So in an orchestra setting, we start with A, then we do D, then we do G, then the violins do their E. So here's our E string, and this is E5 that we want on our tuner. Awesome, I'm seeing E, I'm seeing E5, and I'm seeing that my dial is to the left. I'm sorry, did I say left? To the right, so I need to loosen. I'm actually sharp on my E string. My dial is to the right, I need to loosen it to get it to the center and to get that green light here. So I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit. Need it a bit more, it's pretty good though. There we are. And let's just double check all of our strings one more time. A, we are looking for A4. Pretty good, just a little fine tuning. Okay, D4. G3, excellent, E5, okay, I am pretty happy with that. So I hope you find this video useful. Um, again, I do recommend tuning your violin every single day. If you haven't tuned your violin in a while and you are seeing just totally different um, letters than what you're supposed to be seeing or if a string is just hanging off the instrument, I would recommend taking it into the shop, having them tune it once for you, and then try to keep up with it. The more you tune, the, the more your violin's gonna stay in tune and the less time it will take to tune it. Um, they can also teach you how to get the strings back on if they've completely fallen off or slipped off because of not being tuned in a while.